So do we have a deal? You take the money and ride your little magic carpet right back to Tibet. Nam Ranyo Renge Kyo. Nam Ranyo Renge Kyo. Nam Ranyo Renge Kyo. Nam Ranyo Renge Kyo. What happened that night, Lola? The night your mother was murdered? I read the testimony, but... So why are you asking me all these questions? You know what I said? I just thought there might be something more to it. Look, I don't even know you. <laughs> Sometimes that helps. That's why people talk to counselors and priests. Because they feel safer talking to someone they don't know so well. Look, I'm not supposed to say anything. Why not? Did your stepmother tell you not to? What are you telling her? I certainly hope you warned her not to talk about your marriage. Immigration officials are going to be talking to her teachers and friends. And... Why aren't you back at the studio? I thought you and Chris were supposed to be getting to know each other in case immigration shows up. Too late. Sarah reported us. I don't trust you. You don't trust me? How could I? I loved you. I loved you. <laughs> And you just threw me away. You couldn't even do it fast enough. Well, welcome to my world. Because immigration is going to ship her out and you're going to be alone. Just like me. Nam Ranyo Renge Kyo. Nam Ranyo Renge Kyo. Nam Ranyo. So do we have a deal. And I'm fine and peaceful and full of joy that I want for nothing. This paper means nothing to me. I repeat, what are you doing here? Working. Thought I'd skip winter in Landview and spend a couple months in the sun. What, what's all this? You. Forcing another innocent man to drink? This man is happy to imbibe. Hmm. And was he, uh, happy to tell you Ace's secrets? Well, I had to do a little work to get mm -hmm. that out. And what are you gonna do with what you learned? Dorian, you blow this? You're on your own. Fair's fair. I have a chance to get B.E. back. I mean, it's in reach. Don't rain on my parade. No, you do this, honey, you're gonna need a mighty big umbrella. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. What happened to you? You love something, let it go. And if it's meant to be, it'll come back to you. That's what a man says when he's looking to date another woman. Oh, would you knock it off? I, mean, I can make B.E. flourish. I just have to find David. Um. Who are you talking to? No one, no one at all. So you don't want the money? I pity the man who sells his soul for a pile of paper the color of ginkgo leaves and the summer sunlight. That would be a no. Please tell Clint that in order to maintain the blissful self, chi must be coaxed from the lower sanctum each and every day. Tell Jared we all need to go out and celebrate. Okay. Yes, and congratulations. Thank you so much. Come on, Trouble. Bye, guys. Bye. I love that. And I'm Aunt Gigi. You still know what to do with babies? It's like riding a bicycle, I guess. Besides, I love babies. Gigi, I'm really sorry that I wasn't around when you had Shane. You would have loved it. He was such a character. He'd always make these funny faces, and he insisted on wearing a hat to bed. It always make me laugh. Yeah, some of those pictures. You know, if you play your cards right, you might be willing to give the baby thing another shot. Really? Well, not right away. No, no, of course not. I mean, we'd have to save and make sure Shane's okay with it. But I promise you, I would, be, I would be there with every burp and gurgle. I meant what I said to Natalie. I love you, Marasco. I'm not going anywhere. Good, because if you did, I'd just have to hunt you down and drag you back home. Now, um, 
<clears throat> Where were we? Uh, uh, we were over by the wall. Oh. Oh. Look, I know how this... You! You have no clue how I feel. Anyway, it's over. I'm leaving Landview. What are you talking about? I'm leaving. Puddle of Mud asked me to be their manager for their tour. I fly out to LA in two hours. Immigration knows? Well, don't worry, it's gonna be okay. Christian took care of it. Uh, but we have to go home. Um, wait for me in the lobby. I, I need to speak to Taya for a minute. Adios, Linda. I thought Sarah was on board. Look, I appreciate you helping me with my court case. Oh, yeah. But Lola is my stepdaughter. You have no business with her. Oh, I was just trying to be her friend. Well, she doesn't need your friendship. She has me. You can't leave. I won't let you. How are you gonna stop me? You gonna marry me? Oh. Oh, I forgot. You're already married. Sir, come on. There's got to be a way we can work this out. What's the point? Well, because we love each other? Because we've been through a lot together? Because, because we're good together? Yeah, I thought so too. And then Vanessa shows up. The woman who saved your life. Who looks exactly like every other person you've been with. I guess you just couldn't help yourself, huh? Anyway. Lesson learned. I'm out of here. Sarah, let's... You can't have us both, Christian. Watch out. Maybe you'll end up with nobody. Goodbye, Chris. Thank you for being so understanding, Nora. You know, it would be one thing if Jessica could testify as to what Todd was up to, but she does not have access to what Tess knows. Bess does not allow it. Why is this happening to her? Because Bess admitted to me that there is something else. There's a secret, a terrible secret that Jessica can't handle, and only Bess knows what it is. I'm not afraid of you, Brody, nor am I turned off by the fact that you are almost as screwed up as I am. <laughs> Misery loves company, right? Well, if we're being honest, the only time I'm not miserable these days is when I'm with you. I just, I, I know how you feel. And it's almost like you can't trust yourself. It's like at any moment you could be back, trapped in Baghdad, I get it. It's terrible, but I, I, I'm poison. Like that's why I'm here, to protect the people that I care about from what I become and I, I care about you, so I... Look, okay. I'm not saying Tess is a picnic, but I think I took pretty good care of both of us last time she came out. And we've got plenty of backup. Helps only a yell away. We can handle it. And I'm willing. In fact, I'm asking. I need a friend. Let it go, man. Let it go. Now, maybe Wes is right. Maybe you can help me figure out why I keep seeing that kid. And maybe you can help me figure out why Tess keeps coming back. Deal. Did the plan work? Is David on his way back to Tibet? Not quite. I wish I could stay, but... But David Vickers calls. Now, don't you tell a soul that Vickers is Ace's son. Don't you worry. Your secret is safe with me. Till next time, sugar. <laughs>